Hello everybody and welcome to my library where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to take various stickers off of manga. Alright folks, so the first manga that we're going to start today with is Shugo Chara. This is volume four. Um, I wanted to talk about some of the most prevalent stickers that you're going to see in manga. Um, one of which, and this is for older manga, uh, like this was, this is, this is Del Rey. Um, I think it was like 10 years ago that this was published. Anyway, um, you would have these barcode stickers near the edge of the spine on the inside like this. Um, and they were to keep you from not walking out with the book, you know what I mean? Like throwing it in your bag or whatever, just bailing. Um, so to get these out, and some of these are really stuck in their goods, some of them are not. Um, you just kind of pull, I just pull from the side closest to the the edge of the book here um, and I just kind of slowly lift slowly slowly and if you don't do it if you do it too fast it seems to tear some of the pages but there we go so that one's out simple as that really not that big of a deal um, so that's, that's one of the most common stickers is the uh, the barcode security tag another really common sticker um, let's see, is the, the modern security tag. This is the Devil is a Part-Timer, Volume 1. Um, Barnes & Noble has these. I'm sure other bookstores do as well. But they're these big, uh, like, square ones. I've also seen these rip the page as well. So, again, you just kind of have to go slow. It helps me for these ones if I slowly or if I just slightly bend the page like that. Um, and I will push down on the page as I'm simultaneously lifting up on the sticker until I can get a corner... And I flatten the page and just slowly pull that off just like that. Now these two are really not that bad. Uh, so that's, that's done there. No other stickers, so we're good for that one. Um, back in the day, uh, back when Borders was a thing, they had these price tag stickers. And so I don't think many bookstores still have the price tag stickers, um, especially on the books themselves, unless they're like plastic wrapped or whatever. Uh, but so this is this is one um, I got this off of eBay I didn't actually buy this in the store But I found if you just kind of use your fingernail and you don't want to press too hard because you'll indent the book um, But I just slowly chip away at it like that Yeah, they, they, uh, they use Glue that doesn't stick to the book. So as soon as you can get the corner up if you pull it slow enough You kind of go all in one piece just like that done and uh, Borders would use these, they'd cover up the old price tag, or the old uh, barcode, with their barcode. So it was border specific. So there's that. Again, not too bad. Pretty, pretty easy so far. We're going to get into some tricky stuff now. Um, this is Gantz Volume 3. Now this is the parental advisory sticker. Um, you see these on old school Dark Horse volumes. Uh, Gantz is an awesome series. And of course, parental advisory because the back cover looks like that and so what knows who knows what's actually in the book um what i do with these honestly is i leave them the hell alone because a i think they're cool and if again your back cover looks like this you might need some parental advisory i started taking them off this is volume one um i i used to take them off periodically as i read them but uh i th honestly don't mind it um if you want to take them off i can show you Again, I just kind of chip away at it with my fingernail. Um, and you might ask yourself, can you use a razor blade? And uh, you you could use a razor blade, just like you could also probably use a bandsaw. I wouldn't recommend it though. I have jacked up way more books trying to get off stickers with razor blades than I successfully taken them off with razor blades. Um, but again, if you just pull, try to keep it, don't pull up, pull back and just slowly working your way out just like this. So that's not that bad. But parental advisory stickers, truthfully, I don't mind them. But we're gonna put that down just like that is the, the fourth most common type of sticker. Um, the thing is with these, they sometimes, if you go too fast, if you're not patient, like I was saying before, they will sometimes leave residue um, like this one here if you can kind of see or you can definitely see but that, that little shimmery bit 
was from the sticker, um, and I can't get this up. I don't know what to do. If any of you guys have any recommendations or anything like that, let me know. Um, I think it might actually be the gloss of the book itself, because the same sheen uh, as opposed to the matte finish here. But I don't know, but it was exactly where the sticker was. So this that's another reason why I don't take them off, because like, they, a, I don't, I don't mind the look, but B, they, they started leaving that stuff, so that's, that's no good for me. Um, and then also I realized this as I was preparing for this video. Here's uh, Berserk Volume 19. The parental advisory stickers come underneath the saran wrap. So I think the publisher actually wants them there. I mean, they've got the little for mature readers tag thing like right there. But I think, I think it's supposed to be there. Because if, I mean, I've seen other stickers on the outside of plastic. I've never seen them on the inside except for old school Dark Horse parental advisory stickers. Like I said before, I don't really care about them. I don't mind them at all. Now we're going to get into some tricky stuff. This is the that uh, volume of Yoamushi Petal that I got at the the uh, library sale. So they've got this library sticker down here. Um, and they've got uh, on the back this library sticker up here, right? So this is their barcode. I don't know if you can see. Not really. But... Uh, all they did with this one is they, they put the regular sticker there, another sticker underneath it, but then they just put like tape over the top of it. Um, they will sometimes use like a laminate that they can cut to size. Um, this one, the same thing. So with this, I'm, I'm honestly just gonna go with my fingernail again. And if you can get up a corner without tearing it, you can usually get up the whole thing. So there's that corner. I don't know if you can not really see. Sorry, it's not the best setup I've got here. I'm just pulling that corner there. Trying not to bend the book. That comes right off. Oh, a little stuck. Let's see if we can not mess anything up with this one. The other, the other thing is patience. Like I've said before, time and time again, you gotta have patience. If you go too fast, you're gonna wreck some stuff. Let's go this way. Library books, library copies of stuff. And honestly, with all stickers, you never know what you're gonna find until you start actually taking it off. Um, sometimes it's awful, sometimes it's a breeze. But uh, you've gotta have that investment in actually the removal of the sticker before you proceed. Like I said, sometimes it's going to be a lot worse. Um, if you don't mind library stickers, honestly, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind some of them. I try to keep the spines as as best as I can, which means this one has got to go. I don't care a lot about this one. I'll show you how to take that one off too, or at least I'll try. Um, but this one's got to go. So, like I said, the razor blade. I try not to use it, but every now and then I bust it out. This is one of those cases. Um, it's just really stuck on there pretty good. So I'm not going to cut anything, but it's thin enough that I can try and pry underneath the sticker in the book itself. The The issue is if you press too hard, you're going to go underneath the cover, or you're going to cut the cover, and that's going to be even worse. Like I said before, I've, I've messed up my fair share of books trying to take off stickers with... with uh, with uh, razor blades, and sometimes it's not even worth it. Sometimes I'd rather would have had the sticker on there. In fact, I've. I don't know, anyway, that's that's another story for another day. But we're gonna see. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got a little bit of the title messed up right there, um, but at least you can see the full thing now which is good, that's kind of what I was going for. The thing with this is now it leaves this funky, sticky stuff. You know what I mean? So how do you get the sticky stuff off? I'll go into greater detail in another video about this, um, but uh, for right now, I'm gonna show you briefly just a couple methods that I use. This is just some water, and this is one of those Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. Um, we're gonna just dab it in just a little bit and wring out most of the water, you know what I mean? Just so it just slightly drips. And you're not gonna want to do this 
if a book has a matte finish uh, like this Tokyo Babylon. So the finish is different. The, the cover is this papery matte finish, whereas uh, Yoamushi Petal had this glossy finish because you can see how it's shining like that. So we're just gonna get the magic eraser wet like we did and just slowly, I just, I press on just water first. Kind of go everywhere just like that. Um, careful not to get it wet. In fact, I did actually. What you don't want to do is get anything wet that you've torn uh, because that will water damage the book and then we're in a whole mess of trouble. Um, so we're just going to go like that. And you can kind of scrape off as much as you can with the eraser itself. That doesn't do a whole lot. Um, but now that it's a little bit damp, I'm going to use uh, this towel here. And this is just a black bath towel. What you want is something with texture or what I've, or what I've known what works best for me is something with texture because then you can kind of pull the goo off the book um, without actually scratching the book. What you don't want to use is like a Brillo pad or something like that. And I like to use uh, a dark color, like in this case it's black, because the little fuzzies of the towel will actually leave an imprint on where the sticky stuff is. So if we, if we go at it enough, like this, we can see that that is all fuzzy now, right? And that looks terrible, but we're not gonna leave it that way. Nuh-uh, we are going to remove it, but you have to see it to remove it. That's why I like the black. And I just keep working it. And bit by bit, the more I work it, the more it slides off, you see? There's that line there. And uh, I kind of rotate through the towel. I try to get a different part of the towel every time because the sticky stuff will stay on the towel and then you're just smooshing it around everywhere and that's not good for anything. Eventually, when most of the stuff is gone, how it is now, I just use my finger. The oils from my finger actually replace the goo. Um, they help it slide off, which is also good. You just wanna make sure that you clean your fingers each time. Otherwise, like I said before, you're gonna have a gooey mess. If you just go and go and go, then you look at your thumb, it's got that black stuff on it, right? That's the sticky stuff. So I, I wipe my fingers off on the towel. Um, and then it's just back and forth between the towel, reapply the black stuff so I can see where the sticky is, and then move it off with my fingers. Until finally, lo and behold, it's no longer sticky. No problem, just like this. It's all good. So that looks good. We got the... The spine at least cleaned up. I think that's pretty good. Definitely, I think it's better than that big old library sticker. So we've got that tiny little scuff right here on the S and she, but you know, better, better than this, right? I think so. I think it's a lot better. Um, same process will apply to this one here. Uh, we'll just try briefly, if it's gonna be a pain in the ass like the last one, We'll just move on, but it looks like this one might be pretty good. Um, the glossy covered mangas, kind of like what I had said before, are easier to work with in my opinion, um, but they're also really easy to dent. So you've got to make sure that when you are using your fingernails, if you're using a razor blade, you don't push too hard. One, because you could go through the cover if you are using a razor blade, but two, you could just dent it and a dented book Although it's not covered in gross sticker, is still not the best kind of book to have. Um, or there's the third option, which is don't buy library copies. And I wouldn't blame anyone for even not even trying to attempt this and just buying the book in and of itself. I am cheap and I like to save money, um, so I don't find anything wrong with library copies, especially if you can fix them up like this. Um, in fact, a, a decent portion, I would say not not an immense ton of books, but a decent portion of the books that I have in my library are library copies. A, a one volume of a series here and there just because they're too hard to find. 
So that one wasn't that bad. I took that one off with relative ease. Um, we're gonna use that towel method again to see if there is any sticky stuff. Um, no, not really. There's a tiny, teeny, tiny bit right there. There's that. So then we've got this, uh, this other one here, and this is just an Avery label or a generic label, um, but that should come off just if you just peel it back time after time again, you're gonna get it all off. It's not gonna leave any sticky stuff, which is cool. You just gotta make sure that you get all the paper. Um, that's good for right now. I'm gonna move on, because this video is already pretty damn long. This now is a crazy library copy. Um, so I bought this off of eBay, and I knew they were library copies, and that's the best you could kind of do with Knights of the Zodiac, because it's an old manga, you know what I mean? I was just grateful to have a physical copy of it. Um, but I mean, it's it's old, old. Pages are yellowed and everything. What can be done with this? The the problem with this is that they've put a a thick laminate across the entire cover, um, and that's not a sticker. That's not something that I can really do, and it sucks. But it's the truth. Um, like like I said, just to to illustrate, there's there's the bounce of the cover. It's it's just thick, guys. Like I don't know what to tell you. Um, but with this, I'm not satisfied still because I can't see the awesome imagery underneath. So I, my goal is to fix the spine at least so that when it's on the shelf, it'll still look good on the shelf. Um, so the, the good thing about these is that this, this stuff is used to, uh, like resist water or other stickers or goo or whatever. It's just to toughen up the book. Um, Although the publisher didn't print it that way, the library did it so that they can loan them out time and time again with having little to no problem um, with any of that stuff. So we could do a lot of damage to the cover of this book without actually damaging the cover underneath. So I just pulled that off. That was no biggie. And we're stuck with this, again, this like Avery label stuff. With this, I found if the cover's glossy or if it has this... Uh, this extra strength added to it I use don't freak out but I use just window cleaner um, and this is just generic ass window cleaner I put a little bit on oh a little too much pages have got some don't do too much guys but we're just gonna do a little bit and then with my finger I just rub back and forth And the stuff basically melts. It just rubs right off. Not too bad, not too bad. So there's there's that. And again, I'm gonna cut it here uh, because I've already kind of demonstrated this part. But again, it's, it's still slightly sticky. So you just wanna use the towel, your finger, the towel, your finger, get it blacked up and rub it off. Rinse and repeat, guys, simple as that. So we're gonna do that, and that way, it still looks good when you plug it into your shelf next to other ones that don't have library stickers, as you can see from right there. I hope that I was able to help you guys take some of the stickers that you might have off a different manga. All that being said though, please, I failed to mention this, but please, 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 if you use any kind of liquid when cleaning your books or repairing your books, make sure that you let them completely air out dry 100% before you put them back on the shelves, otherwise you have the potentiality of causing water damage or mold to other books and you don't want that. All of that being said, however, thank you very much for watching, I appreciate all of you, and uh, make sure that you tune in for the next episode, which will come out in a few days, where I teach you guys how to take off or uh, remove different marks that are on the books, whether it be on the cover, on the pages, uh, fix yellow pages, remainder marks, library stamps, all sorts of cool stuff. If you have a suggestion of how to repair a book in a way that I don't know, uh, make sure that you leave it in the comments below, let other people know. Hopefully we can get sort of a cool book repair discussion going on, and if you have an idea or a suggestion of what you want to see me repair, make sure that you also leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this, and uh, I hope you guys are having an awesome day.